everybody you're welcome to the 2023 ballon dior fashion roast my name is jolita and i am your referee for this match and i'm telling you i'm going to be giving a lot of red cards some people are gonna get my black card to go shopping wherever they want just because they impressed me so much without any further talk let's start this match because time is of the essence we have only 90 minutes 45 45 half time and we are done so let's do it let's take off this suit i have some jersey on because i am ready to play i can dribble any of these people i'm going to talk about on the pitch and it's not going to be a problem so i'm going to talk about them anyways we're going to kick off with erling Haaland, and he is in this night blue dolce and gabbana suit with a silk lapel this suit is from the sexy night pre collection and i think it looks gorgeous on him i love the color on his skin and i love the way the suit just drapes down but i think the suit should have snatched a little bit more around the waist area just to give us more definition we want to have a tall glass of wine we want to have a tall glass of highland and remember this man is six feet four so he's a very very tall guy and can you look at the lush lips let's take a moment to appreciate the lush lips uh -huh. one thing i really really like is the bow tie the bow tie is like a fan it's like all these chinese fans and it's just sitting right here on the very perfect position i think the styling was impeccable thank you erling Haaland. we have his partner with him isabel johansson and she is also in dolce and gabbana i think the color is really muted enough not to be too loud so this color suits her skin very well and she's carrying the same color of purse and i find it very nice and also i appreciate the very simple jewelry on her neck and the earring the styling of the hair everything is just so prim so precise and very you know coordinated remember this is not a fashion award this is not like a met gala so fashion is not the focus here she's accompanying her man to the ballon dior and i think she did a good job i like the fit on her but i do not like the strap though the strap is in this other color if i were the designer rather i would have chosen something more similar to the same color maybe a satin one or a cotton one but the same color but on the overall i think it's a successful look the next football player to take the pitch to score this goal for us is Caleb Mbappé. This man is full of zest, he's full of life, he's full of a lot of energy and he's wearing a Dior grey suit. Now this suit is by Kim Jones from Dior and it's a grey suit that has a silk lapel. It crosses to the side so it gives a kimono kind of vibe and he's wearing a Hublot Big Bang Titanium Diamond Wrist Watch and the wrist watch is costing not less than 27,000 US dollars and it has 126 diamonds on it. These players are not playing. They're here to show off what they've worked so hard on the pitch for. So the kimono style suit I like. I like it that it's not something traditional. Kaelan Mbappe always switches it up when it comes to the Ballon d'Or and I like that he doesn't do the same thing over and over again like some other person e.g. Messi. So I like the suit. And I think the black shirt inside does it justice as well. But I really wish the black shirt was grey just to give it a more striking appearance. But I would take it. I think it's a goal. It hit just below the bar. But it's a goal nonetheless. Remember Kaelin Mbappe was one of the nominees for the Ballon d'Or award which we know who ended up winning. There's always one or two controversies surrounding who won. Some people are always salty about who should have won, who should not have won. That's why we're not talking about the awards. We're talking about the fashion. It seems to be a kimono style suit pandemic because up next we have David Beckham in the same Dior Kim Jones kimono style blazer. And David Beckham like we... We know what to expect. The man is always looking good. The older he gets, the more he gets so handsome. And these suits fit him really, really well. David Beckham's suit is in this midnight blue. And I appreciate that this is not a regular silhouette for men to wear. It's very, very stylish. He styled it with a white shirt inside and a night blue tie on it. And black pair of shoes. Really shiny, really beautiful. David Beckham paired his Dior suit with a Tudor wristwatch. And we appreciate it very much. He's looking very impeccable. He's there as one of the icons to grace the football pitch to support the young players and he was the person
person who presented the Ballon d'Or male award which is kind of like the biggest thing of the night. The Ballon d'Or is the Grammys for music and the Oscars for acting so it's a really really big deal and I think it's very much of a bigger deal because football is global everybody knows everybody knows football like even people that don't know any celebrity that exists in other fields of entertainment they know who Messi is they know who C. Ronaldo is they know who Mbappe is I know who Mbappe is moving on we have the female winner for the Ballon d'Or who is Aitana Bonmita and she is wearing a black dress this dress looks so elegant on her it stops at the bustier area then the rest of the top is a sheer design that has crystals on it and I think it looks beautiful it's like a night dream which I believe is what she feels like carrying her own Ballon d'Or she has some rings on her hand just to accentuate the look and give it more glitter and glamour the back of the dress has a deep sexy cutout that is covered with the same black net fabric and this makes the dress more sensual and her earrings are just very simple very minimalist when you're going for something like this everything is just going to be very very classy and I think black is one of the classiest color that one can choose to go out with on the overall i think it's a successful look this is definitely a goal straight into the post thank you miss bomita and congratulations on your ballon d'or moving on we have the goat the g-o-a-t the mvp the man of the moment the person who has won the ballon d'or eight times but i don't know if he's winning this particular fashion award because the silhouette of his suit is just boring it's just what he wears every other year the only thing different about it is the monogram so he's wearing a louis vuitton suit the suit has the monogram it has the pharrell leg monogram on it but this time around it's in black so you have to like really get close before you see it and the adorable thing about his outfit though is that he matched it with his kids so he's matching it with his three kids kids are matching with dad on this beautiful night and I think it's adorable but other than that I think it's boring I think it's just flat and remember that Louis Vuitton is the partner with the Ballon d'Or so the Ballon d'Or award itself was carried in a Louis Vuitton suitcase which is very very iconic for both bodies it shows that fashion of football are now merged i wish that messi would get the memo i wish he would switch it up i think he's too focused on his football that he doesn't have time to wear anything interesting for us to talk about this is just so boring uh maybe the thing that is not so boring about messi's look is he paired it with a tambour louis vuitton wristwatch and this watch is made of yellow gold 18 carats and it costs a whooping fifty two thousand dollars you know no big deal but i think on an overall the look is quite boring and it's just plain but i'm sure there's a lot of craftsmanship that went into it because it's a louis vuitton look and it's made of wool very very quality but on the visual does it look interesting does it look revolutionary does it look fresh no the goat is not goating in my football pitch thank you very much Moving on to someone who actually knows how to wear a suit. We have Salma Paraluelo. She's a female footballer on the Barcelona female football team. And I find this very powerful. Sports is usually a very male-dominated field. And I appreciate the fact that she showed up in this suit. Now, the fit of the suit isn't really that impeccable. Around the thigh area, it could be more snatched to her body. But I think from the top part, from the torso, from the half jacket upward, it's nice and the blazer has this very powerful shoulders very present and i like that she did it in this black color but um as per the the fit you can see like a little bulge around the crotch area that is not doing it any justice um well my issue with the suit is just the fit honestly it's the fit but her confidence and the pose are very powerful and very present and very there and I appreciate it. I love how the trouser flares out down. It gives it a very good dimension. It gives it a more curvy look. So it's not just a boring suit. She definitely did way better than my man Messi. Now I wish Messi's fabric was used to make this one. Because it would have looked way more expensive. And I wish the fit was just more tight. Maybe they were out training for so long that there was no time to do the fitting before the actual outing. But I would accept it. This is a goal. The goal is just close to the bar, but it's a goal nonetheless. So we're going to take it. Appreciate it. 
The next person to take the penalty kick is Jude Bellingham, and he is wearing a custom-made Louis Vuitton Palazzo suit. This man knows how to suit up, and he knows what fits his body, thanks to his stylist and the whole team at Louis Vuitton. I love this suit. The quality is impeccable. It shows, and again, we're here with the silk lapel and the bow tie. The bow tie is a bit crooked, if I'm being very honest. The bow tie can be straightened up a bit, and I like the buttons, the way they shine through on the suit and the palazzo pants is my star you can take off the man and give me the palazzo trousers because these palazzo trousers are the thing that makes it not so boring it doesn't look like a regular male you know suit because they always wear this boring suit if fashion was left to the guys i'm telling you we're not gonna have anything to be interested in like life is just gonna be so flat but this man is gonna lift it up and kick it straight to the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper would not be able to take this so thank you mr bellingham for giving us a beautiful suit like even the way his tans look so confident i mean how can you not look confident when you're looking this stylish and impeccable oof I love it. I'm taking it. Up next, we have someone from the female Barcelona team, and this is Mariah Leon. She's wearing a red dress. There's always going to be a lady in red, and I appreciate this particular lady in red. Although, I do not like the pink purse she's carrying. I mean, we could do silver, we could do gold, we could do black, but for God's sake, not pink. It doesn't match the outfit. It goes up from the underarm, does a curve, creates a collar on the neck. I appreciate the high slit and the legs and do you know the thing like if the purse had matched the shoe the shoe is in the nude color and it doesn't match the purse so why are we doing this why do we want to spoil this you're the only lady in red and all you needed to do was match your shoe to your purse or at least do it like in uh, i want to like the outfit i honestly do i really want to like it but it just doesn't do it for me the dress is beautiful but the accessories you see this is how sometimes the main picture is fine but you just pick a color and put it on the painting and everything just goes and spoils everything so this is not a goal yeah it's an attempt but it's not a goal this is our first missed goal no messy missed is goal Next, we have Fridolina Rolfo, and she is in this maroon colored satin dress. Now, one thing you should know about satin is satin does not forgive. It doesn't have any allowance, and it creases up easily. So, um, while I love the silhouette, I love how it drapes down. It's so easy. It's so fluid. It's so flowing. But there's a bit of, you know, creasing going on. You know, you sit in the car from your house to the award or you're from your hotel to the award and suddenly you have this creasing going on that's my only issue with the outfit it shouldn't have creased if it was something like velvet it wouldn't have creased or if it was something like a chiffon it would have stayed the way it should but this is satin and satin is a very complicated lady it's like she's always on her period and she has this attitude but she pairs it with a silver shoe and a silver purse now this is someone that knows how to pair the outfit this matches this is a success i love the hairstyling the blonde hair the neck piece everything looks so easy and effortless and chic the stylist should have carried this iron thing this steaming thing to steam and straighten the fabric but other than that i think this look is a success she looks like a roman goddess a barcelona goddess next we have martinez and his wife augustina they're wearing this emerald green outfit he's wearing an emerald green suit the blazer is in emerald green but the lapel is in black and the pants are in black and again with the bow tie I think it looks okay it's a successful look and it's you know regular boring but it's successful but i think the romantic thing about the look is that he's matching it with his wife's outfit now talking about the wife this looks like a dolce and gabbana dress i think it looks interesting the issue i have with the dress is that the inner wear is showing it's supposed to look like an illusion dress where the, you don't see you think it's all skin inside but the underwear is in this color that looks like a bit grayish a bit more white than her skin color and i think this gives it away it makes it look a bit cheap makes it look a bit underdone understated it makes it look on you know unsophisticated yes and also the fringe around the wrist area looks a bit cheap looks a bit showgirl it doesn't look classy like some of the ones we've seen but the bag is the thing that comes to the rescue of the look i would have given her a red card but because of the bag i'm gonna give her a yellow card so she can stay on the pitch 
but she's gonna have to pay some fine we should make the inner wear be the same color same skin tone as the color of the person so that we'll be able to ride on that illusion and think that there's nothing underneath we know there's something but it was so nicely done up next we have Jibril Sisse and this man is wearing a white suit with blue shoes and blue hair. I appreciate the fact that his hair is matching his shoes. At least he's giving us something to talk about. He's not boring. Even though the suit is in the same boring male silhouette but he does it in an interesting way. And I like the fact that he's wearing the suit without any shirt inside just showing off the chest area this is really stylish this is something that we appreciate and the glasses look good on him and the pose looks so confident of course you will feel confident if you look this good thank you for serving us this look we're here to stay i'm giving this man a green card i don't know what it means but it means it's encouraging maybe he's my man of the match Ooh, let's not make bogus statements like that the next person who is going to take the penalty kick is didier drogba didier drogba is out here with sandy he and his suit looks fitted the fitting of the suit is exactly what we want to go for with any other suit on this planet because that's what everybody deserves a fitted suit but are they threatened to wear bow ties like can't we have another style of tie so far david beckham is the only person that's given us another style of tie i expect someone to come with this kind of shiny mirror tie nobody did that everybody is wearing this bow tie did they tell them that they're gonna give them red cards if they don't wear bow ties oh it's kind of boring uh, i do not like the fact that everybody's doing the same thing but we would move on to something more interesting which is sandy's outfit now her outfit is a two-faced outfit so on the other side we have a teenager who's just want to sparkle she just want to go to prom with this sparkly dress then on the other side we have a businesswoman who has a business dinner and she wears this turtleneck dress now these two merge together and i think it looks beautiful this is stunning this is what we are here for and the tail of the dress kind of gives us a hollywood effect a dreamy effect a princess effect i think it is nice and very very well done doing two colors is just so mature and so sophisticated but yet so sexy and stylish that's what we have and we're showing cleavage but not so much to look cheap and too available we're showing just a little bit for you to see and be like do you want some well i have my briefcase ready and i have some papers to sign we're here for the business but we're here also to have fun and of course we're young forever i love the outfit i love everything about it up next we have my man gondogan and sarah now gondogan is wearing a three-piece suit but with a bow tie <laughs> and the satin lapel that's all we've been seeing on this night but i do love the look on his face he looks like i'm here for business so don't talk about me jolita because i'm coming to dribble you if you do so i'm sorry sir but i'm going to talk about your wife instead now she looks so beautiful in a dolce and gabbana lace dress she looks like a showgirl the bustier area is covered but the lace is showing up the torso down to the waist and she's wearing these gloves so i appreciate the way the gloves go all the way down to the fingers it makes it look sophisticated especially with the jewelry with the hand bangle on the wrist it looks nice and the bag too looks nice although i wish the gloves would have fit better because this creasing up around the wrist area doesn't look so sophisticated doesn't look so nice but on a general note i think it's a successful look i think it looks beautiful i would give it a five out of ten because um there are just some things that i wish could have been done better but on the overall i think it's a successful look up next we have gabrielle lamere who is dj drogba's partner and here she is in this black dress it has very beautiful flowers on each bust area and then these strings crisscross across the torso area and it goes down from the skirt part it goes down and creates these two circles before the long slit down to the legs i think this look is very sexy it looks like something versace would do you know they say versace dresses the mistress so i think this is a beautiful look it looks very very sexy it looks very now it looks very present without looking too cheap it's showing skin without looking too cheap i appreciate it 
up next we have this beautiful dress i don't know who she is but she's wearing this beautiful black dress with a cutout right around the chest area and it shows the two girls having a conversation i think this is masterfully done i love it it looks so simple yet so sophisticated it's one of those designs that is not doing too much but it captures your eyes and it makes the point it's trying to make so well done the stones there look so geometric it's a very geometric perfection and i love the makeup on her face it's not too much the peach lips look good on her skin and the minimalist earrings look good on her ears everything works together to make a very successful look this girl deserves a green card or my black card she can go shopping wherever she wants she deserves it Woo! finally a breath of fresh air someone doing something different and interesting we have nigerian superstar singer rema on the red carpet and he's wearing a pair of suit with a turtleneck inside and a skirt on top of the pants that he's wearing all in black i think this would have been very contradictory and very incoherent had it been done with multiple colors but he does this look in all black and he has the chain on it to give it that spark that nightlife look and the skirt is the very interesting part of it like how many people would wear a skirt that is why he's an artist and he brings the entertainment to such a very prestigious event he's not looking too serious but yet he's looking very serious is this kind of outfit that when you see you would remember that this person wore this for this event you remember because it's so striking it's so unusual it's so daring it's so not done and i have an issue with the pants if you're wearing a skirt if the pants inside is gonna be a palazzo pants let it be palazzo let it be really really loose if it's gonna be a pencil something or like a leggings let it be really really tight but there's no place for a skirt and a mid-tempo pants it doesn't look okay i think it should have been a palazzo let it like flow all the way down and really make that statement but on the overall i think it's an okay look it's not so so successful although it's interesting and it's attention catching it could have been done better that's my point it could have been done better and it could have really shown even more but i think it's a striking look so we're gonna give it a six over ten this is a shot on the bar it hit the bar it didn't get into the post so it's not a goal but it is a an attempt and it's gonna count in his style resume up next we have the influencer i show speed this kid was too energetic on the red carpet he was too excited i mean of course you would be excited but like he was over the top he was everywhere he was dancing he was doing everything for what he was doing i would think he would look more interesting but again he comes with the boring suit the boring silhouette nothing interesting in the looks um there's really nothing to talk about honestly so let's move on next we have vinicius jr in a dolce and gabbana suit the blazer is red and it has a black lapel then he paired it with a black silk bow tie and maroon colored shoes um you know what i'm about to say i do not like it one bit this is bad this is it looks cheap it looks a bit trashy the shine on the velvet suit doesn't look so sophisticated the only thing i can appreciate is the bow tie and the more i try to appreciate it the more i see that it's even crooked so i do not appreciate it anymore i take back my appreciation the shoe is not in the same color with the top and everything is just a black and red chaos i hope he plays way more than his outfit looks because if it's on this outfit then man a ballon dior would be very very far from him in the very far future but on the overall i think you know what i should stop looking at this the more i look at it the more i hate it and it's even in a boring silhouette there's really nothing more to talk about but let me appreciate something because i like appreciating things i like his smile and his hairdo and his earrings which i think are actually diamonds because you know footballers have money basically but i mean the smirk on his face is even looking like he cannot believe i just said that about him but yes it doesn't look good it the colors look fighty i think this should have been done in white or brown like a very nice chocolate brown or night blue but it's done in this red color and it doesn't it doesn't do it justice sorry i'm sorry i just do not like it 
We have come to the end of our very own Ballon d'Or. I was your referee, Jolita, and now I'm going to present to you my own personal Ballon d'Or, who was the highest goal scorer. Without any doubt, it has to be Erling Haaland. I mean, the man is tall and handsome, and would you look at that ponytail, the blonde hair packed up. I know I said the suit didn't fit, but I'm sure it's not his fault. It's the stylist's fault. But I think this night blue looks very impeccable on him. The color fits his skin very perfectly. And the tie is a bow tie, but it's not done in the regular bow tie shape. It's instead done in this very beautiful fan-like shape, and I appreciate it. Now, who has the red card? The red card goes to... The red card is actually supposed to go to Vinicius Jr. just because it didn't work in any way for me. But I'm going to give it to Messi because he looks boring. The silhouette is boring. I feel you should do something next year. Even if it's just to make it the kimono style blazer, it would be really appreciated. Thank you for spending quality time with me. That was the Ballon d'Or. Do you agree with me in some of the looks or you think, you know, I should look again? Tell me what you think in the comment section. My name is Jolita and have a fabulous time. Remember, the world is a runway and every day is a fashion show. Always look and feel your best. Feel fabulous. Feel beautiful. Feel handsome. Do not get yourself a red card. Stay active. Stay fit. Bye. <laughs> oh my God.